Day after Christmas, Boxing Day, 6am, it's time to go to Sunderland away. Don't worry lads, it's not too far. And now here's human music. Right, we made it here in Sunderland and boom! There is the stadium. Last time we played, it was a 3-3 draw. Uh, that was a mental game. I, I said in the vlog, both Sunderland and Bolton should be Premier League clubs when we're in the Championship. Now we're playing each other in League One. <laughs> currently in Sunderland where we are going to go watch Bolton away. It's another away day. It's 13th versus 23rd and I can't wait for it. Last time it was a six goal thriller. Sunderland haven't won in eight. They've drawn and lost a load of games that they probably should have won. Aidan McGeady's been kicked out the team. Apparently he's going to be gone in January. Phil Parkinson is causing mayhem and hopefully Bolton can get the win. That is the main thing. Let's see what happens. Let's go to the ground. We've got Sunderland fan here. What's your score prediction? I reckon it's going to be 2-1. 3-1 Sunderland. Really? Yeah. We can take that off. Okay. We've got our first Bolton fans in here today. What are your score predictions? 2-1 one Whites. 2-1 two one Whites? 2-1 Bolton. 2-1 Bolton. 2-1 Bolton. Two one Whites. Okay. Love that. Okay, okay. You haven't just gone for the Guinness again, have you? I have. You know, it's a bit of a tradition. Whenever I come to the Stadium of Light, I drink a Guinness. Alright, just for your information, it got 7.1 review last time. What's it getting now? It's always around the 7 mark. 6.9. You know why? Why? It's one of those Guinnesses where you, they pour it in, yeah. and then they shake it. It's in like, like a shaker thing. Ooh. And it shakes. What did the score be? 3-2 three, three, Sunderland, yeah? 3-0. 3-0. 4-0 Sunderland. Although, I think we'll win 3-0. I think it'll be a close game. You think so, yeah. Okay. You're playing Bolton today, you're playing us. Uh, you're not 1-8, but is it time for change today? Do you think you'll get the win? I do. Hopefully, so are you. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Uh, what, what's the score prediction then? What are you going for? I'm going for 3-0. Ooh. I hope that really doesn't happen. Yeah, that's going to happen. What, what, what brings you confidence today? I don't know, it's just a bit of time we turn the tables. And do you think Phil Parkinson is the right man, the wrong man for the job? Wrong man for the Really? Job. Personal opinion would have been Nigel Piazza and Kevin Phillips. I'm here with James, yeah. he's just brought along a programme from six years ago. Okay. And uh, what would we give to have him back? Right, we've got some Sunderland fans here. You're playing Bolton today. Yeah. Uh, it's not been great with Phil Parkinson. Could it be the last straw today if you don't get a result? I think if we get beat today off Bolton, uh, I think Stuart Donald needs to decide man up. Yeah. Get, get rid and okay. uh, start afresh before the January transfer window. What do you really think the score could be? I think we'll get beat 2 1. 2 1, really? Okay, okay. And uh, what's your score prediction? What are you going for? 1 0 Bolton. 1 0 Bolton as well. What, what, why are you, are you negative in the same way as... He just, just hasn't got a clue what strong to say. Really? Right, Thog Dad, you going for a different beer this time, not a Guinness. This is the great thing about staying over at a hotel and you can have as many pints as you like. Your dream? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's give it so, a go. Where that is 7.1. Ooh, yeah. quite positive. Yeah, tasty. Alright, Sunderland fans I'm guessing, yeah? yeah. Alright, yeah. what's your score predictions today against us? I'm saying 3 0 Sunderland. 3 1. 3 1. Giving us a goal. Okay. Why, why are you confident? Because it's Boston Day. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. 2 1, yeah? What are you saying? As well. So you're actually Newcastle fans. So I'm going to say that quite quietly in here. But what are your score predictions today? 3 0 more. Good stuff. Alright, Kiel and Preston. What do you think today against Sunderland? 3-1 Bolton. 3-1 Bolton. Up the whites, what are you going for? 3-1. 3-1, confident, yeah? He's done everything for us back here. Yeah. I don't hate uh, him enough. You got respect for him? Yeah. Okay. 3-0 okay. Sunderland. Really? Where's the confidence from? Uh, we've, we've been in bad form, but like, I wouldn't put it right at here, but uh, Daryl Murphy's dangerous. Here's the beginning of the stairs up Sunderland. You've never been Sunderland away. You don't know how many stairs this is. A lot of stairs. All the way up, all the way up, let's go. Here we go. Massive game today, Bolton win, Parker could be sacked. 2-1 Bolton, 2-1 Bolton, yeah? 
What are you going for? 2-0 goal. 2-0 I swear right now it's already been a bigger attendance than last year. 2-1. That's your prediction. Bolton in the uh, fluorescent yellow kit. Sundler in the home kit. This is a massive game. Bring it on. Wanderers! 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 And it's Bolton Wanderers! Parkinson, the away manager just gave us away. Fair play to him. There's still some respect. Having having said that, we are seeing this now. Dog Dad, we still haven't got your score prediction. What is it? Score prediction of a point. Sunderland won. No. Oh, why? I just got a bad feeling. Perfect chance for Ronan Darcy to make it 1 0 there. That much away from we're playing well, come on, you whites. 12 minutes in, we'll be the better team. Come on. We're the one and only one. Police kicking out fans for drinking beer in their seats. Oh, ridiculous. You should go to Germany. <laughs> sort them out. Well done. It's a brilliant run. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, Ronan Darcy! Oh, what a counter attack! What a player! How good was that, Dan? Brilliant, great, great play. Brilliant. Tibia of Linden, back post. Ronan Darcy again. Oh, a chance for Sunderland. Completely free. Great block. Josh O, you can have my baby son. Love you, Bolton. Way you do. We love you, Bolton. We do. Oh, Bolton, we love you. Good chance here for Bowen. Tibby Evelyn on the ball. Taking him on. And again. And he's beating him. He's done brilliantly. Come on. Someone should have been there. Very good play from Tibio down the wing. We need him. We need him. Tibio Verlinden. We want you to stay. Have a go, Muffs. Oh. Verlinden. We want you to stay. We want you to stay. About the pitch. Bowen there. <laughs> we have been let off there. I don't know, that's a 50 50 with a lot of refs. Let's pretend we score a goal! Let's pretend we score a goal! Lock, got lucky there. Correction. <laughs> Let's pretend we score a goal. Good chance! Oh, oh my god, Murphy! Come on, son! He's done well there. Late off. We've got a chance. Murphy turns. He's done brilliantly. Still got the ball. Oh! Great hold up play. Still going. Still going. Great play from Muff. What? That just makes no sense. Half time. There we go. We've been the bat team. Chances both ways though. Sunderland could definitely nick one and win the game. But Yeah, I think Bolton are the better team. We've had more chances than they have. I'm a bit worried about them shit in the goal. Yeah, we've got Jake here, Bolton fan. What are your thoughts on that first half? Um, should have done better. Yeah, should have taken our chances, shouldn't yeah, we? Should we chances. Yeah, should have Dad's been interviewed at the start of the game. They've come to the away end. Absolutely brilliant, lads. How are your thoughts on how we're playing? Um, we're playing all right. Yeah? Do you think we could win it? I think, I think we could win it. Yeah? Maybe at the end. Yeah, definitely. We've got Alan here. You might have recognised him from the bottom vlogs. He's going to be running around the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's pissed off his head. He's going to have to run all the way round here and then put the ball in this net. There he is. Hey! Oh, he's going. Oh, he's got a head start. 
Here he comes. Oh my god, he's trying to strike me! Oh. Hey. Alan, Alan, well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Interesting, the bomb players are first out for once. Yes, yes. Brilliant strength. This is great. Oh! Wanderers, Wanderers, Wanderers! Good chance for Sunderland. Luco 9. Oh my god, we're lucky now. Super Kev, Super Kevin Davis. Timo Verlinden, we want you to stay. Here comes on O'Grady. Chance. Back post. Murphy! Oh my god, that's the best chance of the game. Save from Remy Matthews. Remy Matthews. Booze all around the ground here, but clubs from the Bolton end as we get a solid point away here at the Stadium of Light. I mean, away from home, clean sheet. Remy Matthews, my man of the match. How are you doing, you right? You doing you okay? Yeah, good game, good game. All right. Thoughts on that? Thoughts on that? Yeah, Pog done. Yeah? Pog's an out. Post-match reaction. Right, nil-nil, and we're here at the hotel right next to the ground. For me, if I was a Sunderland fan right now, I'd be absolutely fuming. I mean, you've now got nine games without a win. You've got Parky who's just playing pretty shit football. I'd be wanting him out, but for Bolton's sake, now four points in two games and a very solid point away from home against Sunderland. A game that they really wanted to win so they could turn things around. And they couldn't against us. We got a clean sheet. Remy Matthews was class. Bridcut centre-back is starting to look a treat. I can't even believe that. I don't know how he's like, out-strengthening Charlie Wyke occasionally. Bloody hell. But the, the amount of love we've gained from Sunderland fans today, the amount of people that came up to us, is probably the most out of any club, excluding Bolton and England games. And I just want to say, Sunderland fans, you're legends, mate. We really appreciate it. Me and Thog Dad really does mean a lot. It's nice to take Thog Sis to a game as well. And most of all, thank you very much for watching this video. It was a nil-nil, but another point in survival for Bolton. And the fans that got kicked out for drinking a beer in the game, I feel for you. That is something that in Germany is not even a thing. You can you can drink at your, at your seat in Germany. It's mad. So Thog Dad was fuming with that. But thank you very much for this video. Subscribe, turn notifications on so you never miss a video. Please hit the like button. Let's smash 2.5k likes. If you do it, me and Thog Dad will be very happy. See you all later. Bye guys.